I'm going to show you very quickly how to navigate through your Schoology Science and Social Studies courses this year. So as soon as you click on Science, you should be able to view what week number it is and then it will also tell what dates included are included in that week. Once you click on that, you are going to always see instructions and announcements first and then you will see folders labeled and dated for each one of the days in that week. So I will always click on instructions and announcements first. When I click on this week's instructions and announcements, it's going to tell you to view this video first. It is a brief tutorial to show you how science and social studies will look on Schoology this year. And obviously I'm making the video right now. So as soon as it's completed, I'll be able to embed it onto that page. It says to click on each day's folder to view and complete the bell ringer, lesson activities, assignment, check for understanding, and closure. Those are the five big things that you will need to do in each day's lesson, okay? So let's go back and look. If I click the back arrow, Wednesday is our first day together. Every time you open a folder, it will have the agenda. It's just like being in school for real. You'll have an agenda. If you click on the agenda, it tells you what will we will be doing that day in order. You can go back. You will always complete a bell ringer first. It will always be a discussion question. This first discussion question has a little bit more of a movement activity to it and then you will post a response in your discussion. The next thing that we will do is click on the lesson or instruction and you will have some step-by-step -step in uh, directions. Sometimes there will be videos, sometimes there will be links, pictures to tell you what to do for the instruction that day. We'll go back. The next thing will be an activity or an assignment. This particular one um, has some a video to tell you what to do for that and some step-by-step -step directions. Then you will um, always click on the assessment or check for understanding. These are not always going to be assessed formally. Most of the time they are just going to be quick checks to make sure I understand and know that you have understand what we were discussing that day. Uh, sometimes they might be graded, but for quite some time they will not be graded. And then the last thing that you're going to see each day and have to complete is a closure. This one has a video and then it asks you to respond to a question. So just to review, every day when you get on to Schoology, you will click on the week and then you will listen to the instructions the first day of the week. We'll click on each folder for each day. Inside each day's folder, you will find an agenda, bell ringer, lesson, activity and assignments, assessments or check for understanding, and closure. Each one of those should be completed going right down the list in order. If I show you the next day, the same outline is true. We have the same format, agenda, bell ringer, lesson, activity, assessments, closure. If I look at Friday, same is true again, agenda, bell ringer, lesson, assessments, closure. Now here's what is unique about Friday. Thursday we are going to be, um, be starting an assignment that I feel will take two days to complete. So that is the exception that if it is an assignment that takes two days, it is going to be housed in the first day. So this particular week we're starting on Thursday with this assignment, and then it will not be in Friday. You will have to go back to your Thursday activity to be able to um, submit that assignment. If you have any questions, make sure that you connect with me either through email or on Schoology messages.